Hello everybody and welcome back to The Bright Side. My name is Ty and I'm back here with more One Shot. Last time we left off we saved the darling precious Alula from the ruins and visited Alula and Calamus in their home. And now we are going to use the uh, the sacred feather that they gave us as a pen so we can progress. But first let's get back to Nico. Ty? Ty, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Oh. Oh, okay. So, one of the things I learned while watching a playthrough of this before, um... When you close the game, it saves your game. But also, when you close the game, it basically just turns everything off for Nico, which I think is a really cool concept. So basically, I came back and he was just like, everything went dark because the game was not open. We are his eyes. I actually kind of want to see how that plays out. Hmm. You just like to meow every time I start, don't you? Poor baby. Alright. I also realized another thing. Uh, in my last video, I realized that frame skip was turned on at the end of the video. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything about it by the time I realized it, but yeah, I didn't even know frame skip was an option. So let's go ahead and make progress. Which means, can I go this way? I don't think, no I can't, I can't go this way. I think I need to go, I think I can go through the ruins to get to the guy actually. And I think this way? Uh. Yeah, this way. Here we are. Alright. <sighs> oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. Lord. I found a pen, sort of. Indeed you do. But are you not forgetting something? Oh! Oh, I forgot the sun! I completely forgot about the sun! I'm glad they didn't just let me leave without it. I wonder how that would've went. Just, oh yes, progressing to the next area without the item you need to... Like, finish the game. Hmm. I had a feeling when I came back I was going to forget it. Like I was literally telling myself as I was editing, man, when I go back to get the, when I go back and play again, I'm gonna completely forget to go get the sun. Oh! She's gone. The the light's gone out. Oh his eyes, he's so scared. Ty. Do you know what happened? No. You... really? But... but... oh. What am I gonna do? It lit up again? Whew. Hmm. It lit up when he touched it. She's gone. Oh! There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn? Maze! She must have left it behind. It's a seed apparently left behind by Maze. Her area has such pleasant but sad music. I would sleep to this. 100% definitely would sleep to. Uh, 
Uh, yes, okay. Okay, now I can use the pin. Ty, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. You look like it might be a good place to take a rest. Really? But... I guess that doesn't count as him resting. Okay. Well, if he's too tired to go on. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure, go ahead. Which immediately closes my game. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Hmm. Ty, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field, like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. <sighs> uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Ty? Yeah. Oh! They're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes ar the one around my village goes around for miles. Oh. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. An ocean of wheat. A food! Oh, well. <laughs> oh, wait. There's food in regular oceans, too. Like fish, or crabs, or shrimp, or octopus. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I really want sushi now. I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Ty. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here, either. Ah, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Ty. It's a little hard to imagine now, or imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Me too. Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah, I see. Oh, but it's a good thing you got over that fear. Otherwise... Oh, it's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. Aww. Aww. Precious little baby face. Oh my god. So, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Ty. Yes. My precious little muffin. Have you found something to write with? Oh, gosh darn it. I found a pen, sort of. Good luck. Oh, yay. I still keep the feather. Now it just doesn't have ink on it. That's good. I don't know what else I can do with any of this. Um, was there anything else I needed to do here? No, I don't think so. So, let's just go. Hmm. What in the world? Oh no. Oh. Oh, I can't go back that way. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Pretty. This one's red purple. Fuchsia. Let's go with fuchsia. Hmm. 
Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Ooh, we're pretty high up. I guess we gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. Off you go then. I wish you luck. What, Gio? Hmm? I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted access to the garden. What, Gio? Eh. Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the kernel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Um, no. Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Wait, you literally only told me. So just put it in the pot? Okay. I guess that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Time to put the seed in the planter. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Probably not. Hey, this looks like that symbol I had to make before. Hmm. Okay. Well, I put the seed in the pot, so I guess I have to find some dirt. I can't go that way. Oh. Come on. Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? Well, it sounded like a lot of loud banging. Oh, look. Come on. Come on! I'm too busy for this! Uh... Excuse me. Whoa! You're... You! Ah, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into you. This is embarrassing. Uh, is there uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but yeah, just take a look at it. It looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but go look at that button panel. Huh. There aren't any buttons. How does that work? Yep, that's a problem. There's usually a big button there that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something? I tried looking everywhere to it for it to no avail. Meh. Maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Do you think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. My foot hurts. I bet it does. You're kicking a metal door. So, he said we couldn't go down. Oh. Well, I found Nico's next nap spot. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh? 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I, model 8XM home security bot, TM serial number 392-328 or 32B839W4 will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Sus suspicious activity detected zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. There's a computer. It's off. Okay. Never mind. So... Okay, I can only go in the pink ones. Okay. Oh. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. Oh. Hello. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello. This is just as terrifying as the sh as the ram. I'm gonna leave. What about this one? Hello. Would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Do you know rock paper scissors? Desired difficulty level? Huh? Desired duration of turns? Uh. Please set your timer. <laughs> Never mind. You're adding too much. My parents are like literally never home. But I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model CWT second gen unit 4E here to help me here to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. What? Tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. That's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. Okay. A pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. All these off computers. I know there's gonna be one that's on. I know there is. Something has been chewing on this plant. Is that what it is? Okay. The title is City Life, What to Expect. So, you look like... Yep, I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. Well, considering you have no plants left, the entire plant was eaten. Oh no! Betsy, please! So... Eh? I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. You should ride on it. What? Do it! Um... <gasps> This is great. Oh, another off computer. Oh my god, he's riding on a Roomba. Let's just clean the whole room. Oh no, I missed. It. Okay. Ah! Good enough. Well, that was fun. We ride at dawn. Oh, <gasps> plants. This one has a pink flower on it. Whoa. OMG. So many plants. Be sure not to touch these. These plants have only recently sprouted. It's not easy for a plant to make it out there. Wait, is your head a flower pot? We got these growing lamps, but they are a poor substitute for the sun. Your head is a flower pot. 
as you get older, does your sprout bloom? I'm, I'm curious. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grew all of these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant this seed left behind by a plant lady. But the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks! I got a bag of dirt. I got a bag of dirt. Can I take this spade? Or trowel? Oof. The handle part is shaped like an owl. I get it. It's a trowel owl. Owl trowel? Trowel? I don't know. A watering can. It's half full. A cactus. 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 It's like fish! Cactus. 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 Fish. 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 <laughs> That's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered. Where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? Oh, not at all. Although these trees are comprised of a woody tissue, they're closer to grass, anatomy-wise. So the branches are actually leaves? Sorta. Of. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor. That's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them, though. Well, let's talk about something else. Okay. It's wheat! Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small isolated plots. Or in a flower pot. <laughs> okay. I got dirt. No more down here? Okay. What's down here? A coffee machine. It's very warm. Hmm. Ooh, shiny. This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe it'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. Well, we got some magnets. Just a trash can. What about... Can't read that. A pile of large books. They look like phone books. Oh, well. Oh, you are... You're TV... What was his name? It's not Kachan, is it? Is it Kachan? So the pages are dark-eared. Pile of large books. Oh, that's it? Okay. Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see her again. Chill. Chill ass TV. Another trash can. Looks like I can unlatch this door. Oh! Oh, it was locked before. Well, ho! I learned. Okay. Wow, that's noisy, I just realized. Well, let's go put this dirt in there. Might as well. And then we'll go explore the other side. There's no dirt. Oh. An assortment of colorful magnets. There is a ram! There is a ram magnet! I hope this helps you grow, little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Aha! Good thinking, Ty. Water should help this seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Well, can you refill it, like, here or something? These are like little pools of water. 
Can you not use those? I guess not. What about the one at the bottom? No? Oh, okay. I'll just get my quick bit, I guess. I guess I gotta find more water. Hmm. I am pretty much at the part of the game where I actually have no knowledge. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you have a clock head. It's very late. It's not healthy for children such as yourself to stay up at this hour. Are you telling the actual time? Because if you are... How dare you expose me like that? Really? I didn't realize. I can't can't blame you. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. By your head being a actual clock. Whoa. Why is it so quiet in here? Mother of Nope. You're gonna wait a bit. You're gonna wait a bit. Oh. I have a piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door so I can vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. <sighs> no. I have to talk to the computer to open this, don't I? Whoa. Am I outside? Yes, I went outside. Wait, what? Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights. All these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. I guess that's another ocean? Hmm. Oh, okay. So what is this way? It's a very it's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. Oh, that's not tall at all. Why do I feel like I'm not supposed to be going this way yet? What about you, Ty? Where do you live? I live in a city. A city? Like this? Wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting. And kind of scary. The view is nice, though. So where did I just go? Did I just go around in a circle? I feel like I, I did. I did go around in a circle. I had a feeling. I don't know why. I just kind of knew. Okay. Uh, do I want to deal with that computer just now? Mm, I'll come right back. Let me go see something else first and then I'll come back. What is over here? What is that? A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Eh. Some kind of computer terminal. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing in... Can you, take a, can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, never mind. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. Oh, okay. That's fair. I guess I might have to come back for tape later. Wasn't there another... How do I get down there? Let me go check the computer. I said I would. I said I would check it. Gonna minimize my screen, I already know. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange trans transparent sheet. Okay, I, I'm actually really surprised it didn't. Oh, transparent sheet filled with numbers. I'm surprised it didn't minimize my screen. Huh. So expose it to the void. I wonder where the void is. I 
think there's a path. Yes. Oh. Oof. These squares again. Yeah, they're blocking the way. Oh boy. Okay. And what's this way? Oof. They're everywhere. Oh no. Aren't you concerned by those squares outside? Empty coffee tin. Coffee machine nearly full. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lady lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. You are very good at cleaning that plate over and over. Well, I can't think of anything else I can do right now. Um. Hmm. Huh, okay. Goodness gracious, these squares everywhere. So let's see. If it's been ripped out, how come there aren't any broken wires inside the empty slot? Well, I'm no engineer, but it's powered by some kind of magnetic technology. I know this much. Magnetic? I have magnets. That man says something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. Don't stick to the aluminum. I don't know why I even tried that. Can't combine those. I, I don't even know what I'm doing, really. Um, hmm. Did I go this way? Yeah, that's the way to get Nico to go to sleep. So... Oh wait, can I talk to you with the metal can? Probably 20 minutes of work already. I hate this. No. Hmm. Okay. So I gotta figure out what to do here. I also have to expose this to the void. I don't know what I need to- oh wait, can I tape the magnets together? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I have to go back out here. But what is this for? There's a small screen in the middle. No. Yeah, I don't know. A row of glass tubes are set into the wall. They're high up. I can't reach them that way. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So what did that do? Huh. It said expose it to the void and then bring it back. I don't know what the void is though. Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? No. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Okay, hold on a second. 
because I think I actually have a file I saw before. Okay, so I looked around and I just could not find it. Wait, what is that? Why is that side darker? Oh! <laughs> that actually makes sense. Expose it to the void, so take it off of the screen. Oh gosh, okay, 63014. The screen is off. Oh, it turned off? So I figured it out and it just turned off, okay. So is that for this? No. Hmm. I don't know what that code is for. Hmm. No idea. Okay. But good day, I suppose. Okay, you don't tell the actual time. I just happened to. Okay. <laughs> well, that's cool, I guess. So let's see. I am only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Hmm. So now I gotta figure out where to use this code, huh? Okay. See anything that could possibly let me use that code? I don't remember. Oh, I want to figure this out, but I might run out of time in this session. Oh. Hmm. I don't know why I thought I could use the, um, what should we call it for a second? I could use the windows. <laughs> oh wait, it's a sink. Can I use the sink to fill up the tube of water? Yes. Ha ha. Well, I guess let's just go water the plant more for right now. I'll have to figure out that code another time. No, I'm still laughing at myself for literally looking around in my computer for something and then just having to pull it down. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That, mm. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to click. Uh oh. My mouse was in the wrong place. Okay, tube of water. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Wait, I can't give it more water? What about... What I need... Oh! I can't give it light. Hmm. I don't think it's enough. I'm actually pretty sure it's not enough. But I don't know what else it needs. Oh gosh, okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't want to make this episode too long. Which is what I said with the last one, but that one ended up being long. So, <laughs> as much as I do want to figure this out right now, I'm gonna have to cut this episode here. Next episode, I'm going to have my work cut out for me. Like, goodness gracious, I don't even know. But I want to thank you for joining me here on the Bright Side today. Don't forget to stare into Nico's eyes as you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And leave me a comment letting me know if you have any ideas on what to do. Especially with that code. I have no idea where that could go but if you saw something that I didn't in the time that I was playing let me know 
any help would be appreciated. And also, I do know there has been an issue with the um, with the notification bell and people actually not getting notifications lately. So just remember that I do post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with alternating weekends. This weekend is going to be, I believe this weekend is Saturday actually. So you will see videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays, and then alternating Saturdays and Sundays. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me here on The Bright Side, and I hope you have a wonderful day. 